Sup guys, well, did some overclocking on the GPU, got it up to uh, 1150 on the GPU and uh, 1400 on the memory. Let's see, the voltage on it I think, what did I do with Sapphire, there is Sapphire. There we go. That's what I'm using for voltage. But yeah, let's just run a uh, quick benchmark and see. How it does. We're gonna run everything. Let's see, we'll just not run any of this. Actually screw it, let's just put it completely to the max. DirectX 11, Ultra, 8X. Even though I'd never run any game like that, just doing this for fun. Figure that'll probably heat the video card up pretty decently too and see what the temps will be like. Last time I checked them, um, they never went over 71, I believe. Come on, load, you can do it. Okay. I don't know why, I just really, really, really love this benchmark. It's very nice to look at. But yeah, anyway, sorry, just getting mesmerized by the video. But yeah, I'll let this finish up and turn the camera back on as soon as it's done. Alright, that's the score we got. Temperature's getting a little hotter than I would like, so I'm probably going to go mess with the fan profile a little bit. I'd like that to stay definitely under 80 preferably and I'm willing to bet that's gonna go over 80 if I let it sit here long enough so I'm gonna go mess with that and hopefully once I get it up to like probably 70 75 percent which hopefully still shouldn't be too loud it's a twin frozer they're saying it should only be 27 decibels under full load anyway but anyway that's it for this quick video I'll probably do some more benchmarking videos on this card later but Suffice to say, it's uh, definitely a worthy upgrade to the onboard oh, that's on the uh, A10 5800K. That's what was in there. Wow, it says it right there, and I'm sitting here forgetting what it's called. Anyway, till the next video. Peace out, guys.